Welcome to the Ingisun Piano Center and its inaugural gala event. Three live streamed concerts recorded in Arvika, Sweden, in the Great Hall of Karlstad University at the Ingisun School of Music. The gala event will consist of three live stream concerts entitled Within, Around and Beyond. This three-part series offers a journey through which we can explore the evolution of man in his individuality, his relation to the world, and his wonder for what might lie beyond. Beyond confronts us directly with the afterlife. In El Amor y la Muerte, Granados speaks of loss and grief. The indication written by the composer, happiness and pain, allows us to believe in some higher power and the possibility of reunion after death. Scraben's fourth sonata is a direct ode to the stars and their mystery. It is a longing for light and an evocation of God, inspired by Bauer's poem. The bluish mystery of her glow beckons me, cradles me. Oh, bring me to thee, far distant star. Oh, joyous God, I swallow thee, sea of light. Lastly, Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody No. 12, both by its virtuosic nature and folkloric themes, is a jubilation at its peak. Combative and hopeful, it is a return to one's roots, a celebration of life.
I guess it's just the optimism in me, perhaps just looking at everything, finding some sort of meaning behind everything and trying to find the best out of everything instead of just perhaps not thinking about the negative side of things. Maybe that's why I find everything so interesting and, as you said, exciting. Just yeah. the way I am, I guess. Go through the most emotional side uh, of things, and then I rationalize. Instead of rationalizing and then finding the emotive side after the rationalization. I mean, the balance is the is the optimal uh, optimal thing, isn't it? Uh, the balance is, is 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 peace between the body and the minds. The heart being the body and the mind being the spirit. And music as well. Everything should come should come from a warm heart and a cold head. Most uh, most often than not, I'm both warm heart and warm head. <laughs> so there is a little bit of an interaction between the two. Yes, of course, I, I enjoy all the time. I mean, every time that I'm on stage, um, I, I sit down in, in that bench and I... The first thing is, is I guess, I, can, I, I feel the audience. I feel what kind of energy that, that the stage is in, incorporated in. Um, and then I just relax and I try to get into it. That's why concert is something that I really miss. I miss being able to to be one with the audience and not just be a performer, but also be as much of an audience as a performer. When you play, you don't just you don't just just perform. You also listen to yourself. Pride is knowing what you're worth. It's not being arrogant. Or, uh, or self-centered. Pride is knowing what you can offer to the world. So when you have the mixture between uh, knowing that there are other people just as good as you think you are, or there are other people that are better than you, while also knowing your worth, that is, uh, I think, the best type of uh, musicianship you can have.
I'm a very passionate person, but in my own way. I'm very introspective, actually. And I usually don't show my passion, but I'm actually very... Um, I have a very intimate but very strong and intense relationship with uh, the things I actually like, yeah. I was more like in a private music school at the beginning than a normal one. And what I was mostly doing was improvising and I was just improvising on my keyboard and just like amateur love for the music and for what's happening, you know. But um, somehow I was quite like stuck to the piano. I was like very... There was some kind of connection that I was just very close to it all the time, all day, actually. And um, one dinner, my father was like, you know what, actually, because I was saying I wanted to be some astrophysicist or like marine biologist. And then my father was like, actually, I don't see you doing anything else than piano. And something just clicked. And I was like, actually, it's true. Well, it has evolved a lot. Of course, at the beginning, um, there is something that you don't realize and it's that music is just happening. There's a process, but the process is there and you're there with the sound and it's just, everything is happening. And that's what uh, kind of um, gives me some, some spiritual urge to, to try to get higher and higher in this. But um, later on, as one gets older, realizes that actually there's so much metaphysics in music and you kind of you're getting in contact with this and you hear it and it's just happening and there's some kind of connections through the physical relation to the keyboard that is some kind of pleasure with the the, the keyboard and the the touch and the sensitivity that starts to go to the ear and then to the music and then it's just happening and this whole package is it's not possible to describe but it's just it's worth it Well, um, I'm trying to grow the whole package, of course, but at the moment, the most important thing is to make it work physically, to make your hands be at the level of your ears. Because I think a very big problem right now across all the musical and piano community in the younger generation is that we have a lot of artistic ideas, visions, uh, we hear what we want, but we cannot produce it in the hands and we end up entering in this lazy stage of just like, okay, it's kind of okay, no? But right now, just, just improving the facilities of my hands and then knowing how to, how to solve the problems that I encounter in the pieces in order to be able to do what I want is very important. And of course, expanding my, my musical knowledge and artistic perception. This is something you don't do alone. It's something you do with the rest of the peers. Okay. To be honest, in one word, I've always seen myself as a neo-post-romantic, but uh, this is also abstract, but too, too, too close. I think um, one of the beauties of doing this career that we're pursuing is that the field is super open and everything can come. But what I, what I'm expecting is to have the enough virtuosity to do what I want and to be able to make it happen in the concert hall, in the stage, in the atmosphere, from my ears to the ears of the person that is listening, and to be able to, to share it as much as possible.
I love to travel and I miss it very much. I love to read um, and I love to paint. I don't paint enough. I used to. So I like to compare it to music because music is a, an art of the instant. So once you've played a note, you've played it and you can't change it. Uh, and in a way, it's, so it's, it's much more ephemeral, but at the same time, it's the beauty of the instant, right? Whereas with painting, you can really spend hours and hours fixing something. So as a perfectionist, I like painting very much because you can work on the same thing over and over again. It has its downsides, obviously, but yeah, I like both. Of course, they're different, I think, because music is my profession. Uh, I've chosen this career path, so there's much more pressure to succeed. Uh, in that field, and I think painting in Ais is much more, is much more free, much more careless, uh, and I don't put the same pressure on myself. I'm still perfectionist because I want it to be good, but it's not the same pressure. And of course, it's also a hobby, so it's not the same. Yeah, pressure from myself. I think it's a burden because if you're, you should strive for excellence. Perfection doesn't exist. Excellence exists, perfection doesn't. Being a perfectionist only brings about negative things, I think. I think just being more tolerant towards myself, definitely. Um, enjoying things more for what they are and where I am at, and learning that progress is in itself a success. I always saw progress as something intermediate, and somehow I always associated it to something negative, somehow but uh, it's okay to progress. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert, that's for sure. But I think I'm, I'm much more social with the right people. It can be anything. I like to hang out with some friends. I like to, to go dancing. Um, but I'm definitely an introvert in the sense that I love spending time alone. I also think that if you if you're not comfortable being alone and being by yourself, it's not okay. And you know what they say, I, I, I like being alone, but I don't like being lonely. Yeah, it's that. The lessons I've learned, I think, is to know your own worth and never accept less than what you think is your worth, definitely. Um, that it's okay not to be perfect, that as well. So I think that when I perform, more often than not, if I'm stressed and I let the stress take over me, I focus more on surviving. And then my standard is just surviving. But I'd like to learn how to enjoy playing so much that I have the total freedom to focus on what I'm trying to say to the public. We would like to especially thank the chairman of our advisory board, Alf Bjornset. Without his generous support, along with our main sponsors, the Vestre Vermland Sparbank and Andersvall Beer Foundation, none of this would be possible. Thank you for making our dream a reality. We invite you to visit our website to read the impressive biographies of all our pianists and to learn more about the Ingesun Piano Center and its activities. Thank you for being here and we hope you enjoy the concerts.